All right, hello, welcome. This is gonna be a legacy stream that we have right up. And this one is a donation by Deepistle. So, so thank you so much, Deepistle. Really appreciate the support. And they suggested this beautiful, gorgeous Primeval Titan deck. So what else could we want, right? Just prime time. Um, we have Greens and Zenith, we have Prime Time, we have Dryad, we have a couple of Uros and a couple of Okos here as well. Exploration as ways to play multiple lands a turn. So it's basically like a mixture between lands and the Titan Stompy deck that's ha that's going around right now. Uh, we have a bunch of basics so we can play around Wasteland. Crop Rotation to go search up our one-offs, which include Dark Depths, Castle, Blast Zone, Bojukibog, Caracas, Kassim... Thespian Stage and the one of Valakut for the Dryads. Uh, we also have a one of Wasteland because, you know, Ghost Squad on Wasteland value. And feel of that, you're going to note that notice that we have Breeding Pool instead of two Tropical Islands, and that is because of feel of that specifically. So uh, we're going to see how uh, this, deck's, uh, this deck plays out. Uh, in, the, in the other versions of the deck that don't play Exploration, usually you see some number of um, Ancient Tombs. Uh, so we're gonna see if exploration is enough to speed us up enough uh, to to you know to cast prime times on time, um, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting to figure that out. Cyborg is pretty straightforward. We have Leyland for graveyard decks, force for well cards that force is good against trucker against grinding matchup, choke against decks where choke is good against so decks with islands, veil of summer also against deck with islands, and chalice of the void against combo and stuff. And let's fire up a Legacy League. There we go. Last time we played Legacy on the stream, we 3 2 with High Tide, so. We have to we have to live up to the hype, you know? GC Dance Noble 2 0. Game was beautiful, friend. Wow, stabs, really? 2 0 2. Nice. Did Karn do a lot of work? Hoping exploration excavator doesn't work. Yeah, like the, the basically the very first thing that I that I thought was maybe we might need some number of loams or more excavators. Those were the main things that I thought of, especially if we have access to reclaimer, right? This is legacy. We can't keep this hand, unfortunately. This is legacy, we can't keep this hand. Um, so I'm probably going to bottom the forest. Snow covered island. Preordain. Well, that's interesting. So it has to be some kind of combo deck. Okay, it's not bad. I'm not gonna play around Ace. Okay, so we're gonna get another Misty. They might force here. We're probably fine, actually, if they do. We're gonna fetch for Breeding Pool and Step. Game two was just me rolling over them with double and made a pack donation in hand dice. So this this is probably doomsday actually, now that I think about it. I guess it could just be Ant. And they are playing Snow Covered Island just because it's correct. Not because it does anything.
Okay, it is sent. Well, so my opponent is basically going to choose my play next turn. So I imagine they're going to take the Oko. Well, I guess there's no need for me to fetch. I'm going to drop here. Uh, would that be great to draw crop rotation? Crop rotation was probably your best draw right there. Wait, what? They have force? So I guess it is Doomsday. All right. It is Doomsday. I was not expecting force. <laughs> In that case, good that we drew a dryad then. <laughs> good for us. So Veil vale looking really hot against my opponent's deck. And Chalice is probably what I'm gonna bring it, be bringing in. Ramming up would be a great draw. Oh wait, what? They're going for it? They're going for it. Okay. So yeah, it is Doomsday, now we know. And... We are probably going to... I guess it depends on what we draw. Like, pr probably the best thing for us to draw is a Ramming up, because we can just go squatter them out of the game. We're probably going to go score them either way, whether we draw a ramming up or not. But if we actually draw a ramming up, then that should probably just be game over. I'm definitely going to score in the island. Also, I just noticed we have the ugly ghost squatters. I fixed, I fixed the forests, but I did not fix the ghost squatters. Feels bad, man. There we go. This deck apparently is really, really good right now and also very, very hard to play. And also my opponent has the strictly incorrect art for Doomsday. You always have to go OG. Always OG art. What is the combo? Uh, they just figure out some way to kill you with like LED and like um, Thassa Soraku. Whatever it is, I'm probably going to be destroying this Snow Covered Island. Unless they can kill me right now. Which I don't think they can. Sad face. If they left an island in their deck, good for them. Smart. But at least we messed up their pile. We messed up the order in which they're going to be drawing the cards. But very smart of them to, to leave an island in there for sure. But right now they don't have they don't have the double blue. Oh never mind, they just have it. <laughs> Whoopsies, we're just dead. So I guess if we had drawn, if we had drawn Rhyming Up, we would have actually won. That's hilarious. 
because my opponent would have, wouldn't have been able to brainstorm and also have double blue for the for the Oracle. Feels bad, man. All right, so we want chalices. We want veils. <sighs> Do we want chokes? Is the question. We probably don't need prime times. Kassam seems unplayable. Caracas can probably come out too. I mean, we do still need a really solid amount of lands in our deck because what just happened a second ago can it happen again. I actually don't really like Oko, uh, but Oko does, does pressure Planeswalkers, however. I guess 27, 27 lands. The problem is that it's actually 26. This doesn't tap for mana. It's probably fine though. I don't think we want choke. I just think it's probably just too slow. And also they can play around it with the fairy very easily. Leyline is definitely not worth it against this deck. Even against Ant is questionable whether Leyline is worth it. All right, thank you for the follow, Norky Tricky. Oh, you know what happened, Desire. There we go. All right, I'll keep this. Once upon. We got our color, so I guess I'm gonna grab the blast zone just because only honestly. So next turn we're going to chalice unless my opponent thought ceases me or something, which is likely. Uh, I guess even Chalice for Zero was a, a very serious consideration there. There's no way though. Pretty shitty that we drew a Dry Driver, but still a B. This opens up so many options, it's crazy. Oof. Uh, I think we play Forest and say go now, right? End step, we can get a Wasteland. I guess that end step I'm gonna once upon actually. Getting wasteland is pretty good though. I think I'm gonna once upon, it gives me more options. Udo or Forest? We kind of want Uro. First Meg is Naoko, is everything okay at home? Who hurt you? 
I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay for now, Stabs, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore. So they need that little force here. Good, good, good. Don't need to worry about Chalice anymore. I guess next turn we Udo. Because if we find and tap land into and tap land, we can also get a reclaimer activation, which should be pretty solid. Hmm. I think it's better to Uro here because we can dig. Mm hmm. Exactly. It turns off my bail, I know, but it hopefully turns off more of my stuffs, my opponent's stuff than mine, I guess. So I kind of need to draw one more land. Okay, go squatter. Let's lead on Dryad, see what my opponent does. Let it resolve. Lucid Dreams, thank you for the follow. Mm. I think we don't attack here, right? Is that crazy? I guess maybe I could have attacked with the Dried Arbor. Hey Sam, uh, doing well. We played a first league with Kiki Trap, which was fun. And now we're playing some Legacy over here. We have Valakit here as interaction, so they're probably gonna go to they go to eight though. We can't really do anything. We have bog, but like bogging them doesn't do anything at all. Just five oh with red wind mid range. Yeah, that that deck's pretty good. I'm not surprised that you're doing well with it. Not surprised that you're doing well. So that's so sad though. We were exactly one turn away from from killing them. Now I'm 0-2. Yeah, that, that also doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Ghost Quarter could stop them if they don't find Island in the pile. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. 
maybe Ghost Quarter can can throw a wrench in their plans. I mean, they have to kill me right now. They don't have another turn, so this is kind of what it is. The question is, should I go squatter now? Can they, for zero mana, draw all three of the cards on top of their deck? I think I just let them do the thing. Go with Valakut, kill this. Pew! Thassa's Oracle resolves. Got him! What is this deck? We're playing legacy stuff. Let's go with legacy stuff. <clears throat> Thespian stage copy Valakut. Fuck. More triggers for you. Got him. Made up this rune. No, this is a donation list by the Peasel. The other day just more recently. Have you ever gone back to the list that you were crushing on with Card the Creator first came out? I remember you having like an 80% win rate with that list. Yes, uh, the good old 80% win rate car, uh, win rate amulet. Uh, it's a classic. Uh, hard, hard to forget about 80% win rate amulet. So the problem that 80% win rate amulet has now is the fact that you don't have lattice anymore, and the meta has changed too. Like we have triad, which we didn't used to have. So just like the ways of building the deck have changed because new cards have been printed that were just not legal back then. So I'm sorry, did it with Legacy at the moment. Yeah, it's <laughs> Legacy Titan shit. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, yeah, Legacy is... I don't know. I don't know where Legacy is. <laughs> I also am kind of outdated with Legacy myself. Legacy they play in a shock land that doesn't run shadow. Yep. You saw it here first. You saw it here first. The things that Field of the Dead will make you do. Opponent seems to be mulligan in. They're down to six. I think this is a keep. I don't think it's a great hand, but. Like it has a piece of inter two pieces of interaction, which is something that we're really lacking on. So it's probably what I can hope for, you know. I think I'm gonna go with turn uh, Kuchalos and Zero here, actually. I think so, yeah. Crop rod probably not going to be too relevant. The only problem with this is like my opponent is going to be able to like, you know, dig and stuff. But that's that's fine, whatever. 
Can a crop rot for anything impactful is the question. And the answer is no, no, I can't. <laughs> Sad face. Dark red. Are we just dead here? We might just be dead. Where's the tabernacle? We're not playing tabernacle, we're playing field of the dead. It's not a great combo with tabernacle. Have I tried Wargate scapeshift decks? Yes, actually I have tried them. I'm thinking about making a return of playing scapeshifts, but it might be bad. Uh, I didn't try actual uh, scapeshift, Daryl, um, but I did stream the band Titan shift deck. I think I play. I went for one, and then I play another league, and I went three and two with War Eight and stuff. Cobra for Wasteland. Why? There's, they literally have two basics. Wasteland doesn't really do much. Pretty amazing that Doomsday is back to being played in legs. Yeah, I, I, th this card is, it's pretty messed up. Nope, nothing we can really do here. Can't really cast exploration here. First time I see you not playing Night of Reliquary deck in Legacy in Moto, that's that's fair. Well, I, I did play... Um, I did play the other day the... Um, what's the name of that deck? Um, High Tide. So we can't do anything here, right? They didn't even know what I was looking for. They just like, no, you can't have it. All right, we're dead. We died, chat. We were just trying to play fair magic and then... Yeah, it was a donation deck, yeah. And this is also a donation deck. But I'm very happy playing this one. My boy's here, my boy! Had to say equal to, or equal to, just pushed it so much further. Yeah, it could have been like exactly. I think it would have been a lot less egregious if Oracle just said um, equal to your devotion to blue. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, Doomsday Day is super real. Romario top eight, uh, he actually won or got second, I don't know, but he, he qualified to the PT playing Doomsday. Put him most to six. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get a forest mostly because I want the Bujuki Bog to stay in my deck. Now, the real question is do I play the Reclaimer here or do I. I think I just played the Reclaimer, right? But if my opponent mold, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play this and pass, holding up crop rot.
stagnate flagstones. Plow. Shit. All right. So I guess it's correct to crop rot here. They chose to shuffle. Because I can go get a castle. Like it's probably gonna get forced. Yeah. And this is what I was afraid when I saw this deck. Uh, four from Evil Titan seems like a lot. Four Prime Mutant seems like a hell of a lot. And we don't have any way to recoup the card advantage, unfortunately. Rhyming up is the only way. So I guess that was the best draw. That was by far our best draw there. My opponent needs to force this. Brainstorm looking for the force. Feel like one of ancient tomb is in that bad looking at it. I mean the ancient tomb is basically the castle, right? Okay, that was really good for us to resolve. It lets you turn two more dryads though and castle doesn't. That's true. That's very, very true. They made a food instead of killing my ramming up. Huh. Do they have a plow? Because they have to use it here. I am confused. This guy. What's up? Primetime says, what's up? Uh, so we're gonna get field and Thespian stage. We're gonna get a trigger from this Misty. And next turn, we can choose whether to. Next turn, we, we could have chosen whether to go for um, to go wide or to go. For the combo. I think I just don't want rotation, just at all. Don't want Caracas either. I won't want Glacial Chasm. My opponent says, bravissimo, complimentoni. And I'm like, grazie. <laughs> Italian. My Italian, as you can see, is on top of it. All right. I don't think we want any of these cards that I took out. 
Maybe it's because it's water, but that sounded hella salty. I imagine it's salt, yes. But it's Italian, so it sounds classy. Okay. This is a pretty great hand, actually. I am so sad right now. <laughs> I am so sad. I am... I'm so sad. I don't even... I don't even... <laughs> I don't even... Um... Help, chat. Please help. Yeah, I was going to I was going to see it for dry it on turn one, and then we just drew it, so I can't anymore. <laughs> We're gonna get reclaimer here. You always play two? No, I don't think you ever play two, honestly. Unless you're playing elves and you really, really, really need that dryad. That's literally the only circumstance. Oh, cool. back to basics. Sure. So we're just going to be searching up our basics. <laughs> My opponent has back to basics, so we're going to be searching up basics. Easy. <laughs> That's the plan now. Going to upgrade all of our lands into basic lands. No, it would be sick finding a body grazer there. I don't think I agree that it would be sweet. It would be kind of sad, honestly. Scavenge news. Oh no. Should probably attack. Snow forest. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so I guess I'm going to chill one more turn here. Because next, next turn I can play Oko with Veil back up. So I guess I'm going to play Exploration just because. And we're totally going to sack this arbor for another basic. Also, my opponent has scavenging news with island island. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Uh, we could also find Cavern of Souls, which would be pretty hot. Actually, no, never mind. Oko. Oko A. Creative food. It's <clears throat> a good one. That's a good one. Um, so we can see it for ramming up. So I think step number one is we're going to all call this Cavern Genius. Um, should I? Is 
Sempre più forti, says my opponent, forci. Sempre più forci. I, I don't know what that one means. Um, I think I just plus to create a food. This is practice for the legacy super queue tomorrow. Probably not. Probably not. Something, something salty. Yeah, that sounds about right. Salt this, salt that. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. So if we find any untapped land, we're going to get to Titan, which effectively means GG's. They unlock the hidden minus five ability, yeah. That's a matter of back to basis on the field or not, but claim is just way more value in legacy than an O3 with reach. Yep. Reclaimer is so good. I mean Reclaimer is making it so this back to basics is kind of embarrassing. Very much not very impactful. Tak oko, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So convenient. Okay, so we're going to I think what do we do here? Do we take care of the schools? Or do we trade with one? We're pro my opponent's probably going to chomp with the Ice Fang Quaddle. So we're going to get a Snow Island. Let's do this first. Let's my opponent is playing either Gust in Legacy. So we're getting field and I guess we're getting Snow Core Forest. No, it has to be something that we don't have in place. So probably something that I don't mind losing. I guess Dark Depths. Or Valakut. Probably just Valakut. So Lace Fan Quattle is probably going to jump on front of that. <clears throat> and they can plus on the prime time, I think. Okay, at least they did like the card that they had on top.
Oko seems really hard to kill with only a single white mana. They can... The fairy, sure. Like, bounce at prime time, I guess. Hope to counter it on the way back again. Oh no, okay, so they're going to... Library. Okay. You have to blast on the prime. What opponent? What are you doing? Did my opponent just allow me to untap with Primeval Titan? I think my opponent just allowed me to untap with Primeval Titan. So I'm going to play around Force of Negation by playing a Dryad instead of the... The other alternatives. But like, what the hell? My opponent is tilting about me getting lucky and they allow me to do this. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go face and this is gonna give me... Yeah, exactly. It's just like... <laughs> I mean, the least you can do, if you're, if you're going to be salt, salty in chat, the least that you can do is you can just make plays that make sense, that don't leave you let, dead on board, you know? They're shouting salt, salt in the chat. No, they were just like sarcastically saying, oh, you're, like, you're so good. Like, you, you always have it or stuff like that. It's just like, I mean, I did have it, but you made things extra easy for me. Be a grow one, except for giving me. Yeah, I mean, usually I make fun of people like this. It's it's my way of my my way of giving back to the community is to <laughs> is to make fun of people that are salty in chat. Oh yikes! Man, if we had agreed, this honestly. This might just be a keep, nonetheless, even without a green source. There's a great Twitter account full of MTG Assault. That sounds like my cup of tea. Chalice on one. It's fine. Poggers. Okay, so we can't exploration, unfortunately. Now the question is, do we get Misty? Yeah, I think we get Misty, right? Oh, Wasteland is also really, really tempting. So do I want to stop my opponent's plan or do I want to develop mine? Empty Shield Shuffler, aka Satan, is a great salt mine, as their name would have you believe. Yeah, that's that's very on brand for them. Doesn't plus circle on Titan. You always have it all, yeah, for real. Yeah, I think there's a lot of like Misty, Dryad, and Wasteland are definitely possible potential ways to go. Uh I think I'm gonna go with Wasteland, but I'm not certain about this, and we might very we might very well get punished right about now. Or not. Uh, one good thing is that okay, yeah, we, we totally got punished. Uh I was gonna say that one of one good thing is that ooh. So we can name Elf here. I was gonna say that one of the good things is that we didn't bottom any, we didn't bottom any um, green sources. So a bunch of our green sources are gonna be still on the deck. Reality Smasher. Mm, I kind of want Maze of If. Uh, 
That's another blank. Hmm. So I guess I'm going to play this out and then I'm going to see what my opponent does. If they don't play Wasteland, I'm making it 2020. And we should have enough time. Unless my opponent. I guess even if they have a second Smasher, we should be fine. <laughs> Which is exactly what they do. We cannot be the third Smasher, but we can be the second one. And step, gonna get a dark depths. Tap, green source and everything. And I'm gonna do this right now so we can play around Wasteland. And we're gonna keep this one. So we die to this member and we die to another smasher. <laughs> they had it. Oh wow, that's insane. <laughs> oh wow. Of course. Of course, the triple smasher draw. Um Some of the cards I'm looking at, I might not want all of them though. Smasher, I hardly know her. Oh, that's too many forces. I regret my cyborging already. That's way too many forces. So any land should allow me to Titan on four. Unless we get wastelanded. All right, one time, no thought nodes here. It's impossible they don't have a thought node here. Yep. Uh, the good thing is that we can draw a bunch of cards here, like fetch on is great. Lots of cards are very good. This member also allows them to attack through, but maybe they won't go there. Salty losers, that's great. This deck looks really cheap for Legacy. You're talking about mine? Uh, yes, probably. Caverns might be expensive, and the Uros and the Okos are expensive, but everything else is pretty cheap. This member, okay. That's like the best possible draw, basically. Kill ya. All right. Do you have another prime time opponent? Do you have another thought? No, sorry. 
they don't. So this game is over now. One, two, three, four, five. Legacy is the expensive motto. I said no, it's it's kind of just fine. It's about the same price as modern, really. Oh, in paper. Oh yeah, in paper. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. They have a TKS. Shit. Hmm. So I'm going to get the island here, and I think I'm going to see it for Arbor instead of instead of playing the Reclaimer, because this allows me to Uro on turn two, or I guess it forces my opponent's thought not to take the Uro, which leaves me with all the other stuff. They probably have to take the Uro even here. Okay, maybe not. So we can Zenith for nothing too great, really. Is it still a bug? Play Zenith, roll Zenith? No, I don't think it's a bug. Another thought, no, that's like the best possible draw. Okay. Monomatory Shapers and Spyglass. So they're probably gonna name Reclaimer here, which is pretty good for them. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We can Zenith for another Uro, we can Zenith for Ramunap. We can force and activate Reclaimer too. But we can do all that only next turn, not this turn. Hmm. Lots of options here. Can I get back Uro somehow? Or how, how can I set up getting back Uro? So this is fetch plus block plus suck a land. That's one, two, three, four. I can get another fetch land with reclaimer or wasteland. I just don't think that going down on mana is going to help me out, though. 
And pitching this Green Sun Zenith also, it's probably not a great line for me. Could also Zenith for Dryad here, just as a blocker. So my opponent cannot clock me with the matter reshapers. I think that's gonna be the line actually. And I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna name Elf here. Like I have all my colors covered now and if they chalice, I can still cast my uh, Reclaimer if I draw it. Seen it for Uro. I don't think that seen it for Uro really does anything for us. Like this actually progresses my game plan. And it stops my opponent from attacking with reshapers to an extent, I guess. We can block here. We take three. I guess I don't want to block because not this turn at least. Ancient Tomb. Getting close to Ayo in mana. But I can force plus activate on the same turn if the Dryad survives that one that one turn. What is this? That's a lot of mana. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, it's a big endless one? Oh, okay, that's fine. Wasteland? I don't think that was actually good for them, honestly. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Excited for anything spoiled so far in a new set? No, not really. Smasher. So five plus four is nine. We can block force. Block chomp force here. Then we Reclaimer. Oh, we can, oh wow, we can, um, yeah, let's do that. We can go get um, Kassim. And it will sack it away. We can even tap the custom for mana. Jeez, that's so great. So we stall here for a bit. And now I should have totally read what custom does and this other reclaimer should still be alive. So I totally punted there. The rebuilding factory. So green, green, blue, blue, two, three, four. Five. 
they can wasteland my chasm in order to attack, but their attacks are not even that good. Should have grabbed and gave chasm game one or so. Yeah, exactly. I I honestly because I thought about the chasm afterwards. <laughs> I thought it was like prevent all damage and it actually doesn't prevent all damage. It only prevents the damage that you take. So whoopsies. Big time whoopsies. So we should definitely have a reclaimer in play right now. And if we draw Zenith or Rhyming Up, we probably win the game. Because then we can cast them every turn. <clears throat> so we're going to chump the dryad on here and chump there. If they have this member, they have this member. Here we draw a card. Okay. So I think I attack. So we're going to take seven. That's not enough. So we, we die to pro probably just die to another smasher. Let's play stage. Now we're going to. Um, is Dryad plus Oko? Hmm. Is Dryad plus Oko better, better than Once Upon a Time? If <laughs> you really try it, it still buffs your lands. That's true. That's true. Um... So this can find either Rhyming Up, Excavator, or Valakut. I guess Valakut doesn't even do anything, so I guess it's just better for me to Oko plus Riot. Thank you for the follower, Topo BNU. Elk there. Unfortunately, Elk, Elk in the Endless One doesn't quite work. TKS. <laughs> you don't want to give them an 11, 11? No, I, I wish. I wish that worked. Thought you were generous. I'm trying to figure out whether they should attack with the Mistress Factory or not. And I guess the answer is yes. So this is a force chump here, not much to do about that. And that is the best draw in our entire deck. You know when people tell say that magic is hard or like whatever, it's just like they clearly don't get it. Like if you think that magic is hard, maybe it's you that is not trying hard enough. You know what I'm saying? So I'm probably getting field. And 
Wasteland? Sure. That doesn't trample, that doesn't trample, that doesn't trample. So we're just gonna make a food here. No, we, it, this is it, Okot uh, covers power. This looks at power. Power three or less, not convertible cost. That would have been sexy though. But unfortunately, doesn't work. Is it not what you fetch the dark, the dark depth? So I'm expecting my primeval titan uh, to survive. That's basically the answer to that question. And if I expect my primeval titan to survive, then there's no need for me to get a, a land that doesn't even tap for mana, right? I can just get it next turn. What I need to be untapped is, is the, th the Thespian stage, which is already in play. So. <laughs> so yeah, turn for 2020 with this hand. Probably have to ship it though. This sounds better. Oh, now we're playing as blue decks again. Miss Crop Rotation is basically a dead card. <clears throat> no second land. Okay. I play my breeding pool tapped and pass the turn. No need to allow my opponent to use their cards. All right, we're kind of whiffing here a little bit. No forest. Kind of whiffing a little bit. Uh, we can draw a castle, so that's why I'm slamming this over right here. In fact, we can crop rod for a castle if we want. Opponent has never seen ore in their entire life. Completely baffled when looking at the powerful, powerful giant. I assume that my opponent is either on Storm or the other deck. So now we can end step depths combo. They're playing Delver. Oh, wow. Ilbok, thank you for the follow. You know what's great against Delver? Uncounterable primeval titans are great against Delver. Yay. Okay, so I guess we're gonna get Field of the Dead and I guess Dark Depths. It's just something else that my opponent cannot beat. Like next turn, we can try it and valak at them. That sounds hard, right? Um, so they're playing some version of blue Delver, so we probably want these cards. I could see that not mattering too much. I could see this not mattering too much. Probably want to cut all the crop rods actually. And I could see Caracas not mattering too much. Where's Caracas there?
There. Thank you for the streaming. Oh, thank you, it's a log. I appreciate the follow. Yeah, I've been streaming every day for like, usually I stream Monday through Thursdays, but since the lockdown, there's no reason for me not to stream. So I've been on it. It's in its standard 2010, the reverse is Titan, kind of, right? It's basically the same. Fern also casually cancel lessons to stream instead. Exactly. I'm living the dream. So I think I'm going to wait until turn... Uh, even turn four is kind of sketch. I would just love to draw. Right, so it's a rock that we're it's a goif. One, two goif is not too scary though. We can play around stifle just by doing this, so I think we should. It's basically free for us to do it. They don't need to learn, learning is for nerds, exactly. They should learn to play magic. Not the scariest golf I've ever seen, if I, if I have to be honest. Friends, if I had a K option, friend teaches scrub kids how to play match. Poor scrub kids. Right, that's two. Billion of days is in hand, probably. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait one more turn because the next turn we can veil with double days protection. The only problem is the Dryad is a creature and also an enchantment, so that's pretty brutal. It really grows the Goyf. Ha! <laughs> this is free. Sick. <laughs> we haven't cast any spells yet, so that's free. Awesome. Uh, Field of the Dead sounds like the best pickup here. Played, right? Gigantosaurus, thank you for the follow. Legacy Titan, of course, Cora. What are you what do you, what have you been thinking about? Of course, Legacy Titan. What else could you expect from me? Uh, I think I'm just gonna play a meh tropical island here and pass the turn. I'm not going to play this Dryad when I can't protect it. And next turn we can field, get some triggers. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that, that one, that one, what just happened? It sucks. They should 100% attack. We're gonna block because I cannot afford to take the damage, but if they have a bolt, they got me. One, two, three, four, five. That's a pretty good draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play this, play this. So 
So they have Stifle in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Attack first. Opponent takes it. Second main, we play land. Turns to battlefield, we suck a land. I love that we can tap Glacial, glacial Chasm for, for mana, that's awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if they have double vault, I die. I guess I could have force plus days here. Days. Fuck, they have double days, don't they? Why didn't I bail? Because it's the same effect, like they just daze my veil. Like, why would I want to show them that I have veil in my hand? And then if I draw, if I top deck another titan, then I then I, I lose to the same thing, right? I lose to force of will. Veil in there makes no sense. Like I'm losing to the exact same things. Like if my opponent has another veil, or if they if they have another days, or they have a, a force of will, we we die. Like there's no way around that. They have the bolt. Okay. Dramina would have also done it. Udo would have given me a turn as well. All right. Changes, not really. Maybe on the play, I want more Primeval Titan. I'm not so sold on Choke and Tracker. Maybe Tracker is good, but Choke sounds kind of medium. Let's do this. Why didn't I veil to the Stifle spell? Oh, that's what you're talking about. Um, does that work? It does, right? Yeah, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. Mongoose. My opponent's playing Canadian Threshold from like, I have no idea how many years ago. That's funny. That's so funny. Should I go for the Ghost Squatter here? I'm kind of feeling the Ghost Squatter.
feels bad, man. Seems small on horizon, goose is small on legal. That is true. Doesn't seem doesn't mean that it's good or even playable, but it is legal. Oh, I made a mistake there. I should have played my cavern. That's that. Ugh. So we're hoping for no wasteland, and I think that next turn is going to be Uro. Are we going to name Giant with this? I guess we could name Naga or Nymph. Seems like Udo is, is the best card though. They chose to not shuffle, so they, oh. Okay. Should we just play the Uro for it to get countered? I think that's what I'm gonna do. If they wanna counter here, they can. And I think here we name... Huh. I think the ramen up is going to be the most important actually. So we're going to name Naga. Mongoose beats John. That's just not true. <laughs> That's just not true. John has Liliana. And this is the 3-3. Three, three. John rarely cares about the 3-3. Three, three. They also have scavengers. There's so many reasons why, <laughs> why it's not even good. Okay, that's bad for us. That's really bad for us. Yeah, th this is not a modern playable card. Yep. So I think I'm just going to play the Chasm and sack it to itself. Just so the Reclaimer is big enough. Like I'm not using my mana any other way, so might as well now the, the Geese cannot attack anymore. The Goyf can still get in there, but it, it slows down the clock. I don't know if significantly, but it slows, it slows down the clock. Okay. Shit. How do I play around Stifle is the question now. Sin is for zero. Spell Pierce. We're totally getting stifled here. How do we beat Stifle? We can't beat Stifle, right? So we just get got by it. Yep. It's brutal. <laughs> I 
Oh, I just never draw your land. Shit, shit, shit. So we lose to Stifle, we, we lose to like a bazillion things here. Any instant, I guess, also we lose to, but we just have to play two routes. This is, I'm trying to get Bojukabok here. If they have an instant, they kill my dude. If they have, like, they, there's like so many ways this goes badly for me. But I can't play around anything. <laughs> I just can't do anything. Mm, that's bad for me too. Lance. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. <laughs> no flip, Delver. No flip. No flip. No flap! Yes. So my opponent needs to... I guess they can have counter magic, but I need to draw exactly cavernous souls. They should have totally attacked, by the way. I don't think I can wait one more turn, can I? I don't think I can wait one more turn. So I have to get ramming up and get How do I win here? If I pay three mana, play ramming up, let's say that it resolves. So that means I can get Cavern of Souls and I'm gonna have one mana untapped. Next turn I untapped my land for turn, which is gonna be this. Then I play a Misty. That's still not enough. I can Exploration. Yeah, so I think I just have to play Ramin up here. And we lose to this, we lose to Force of Will, etc, etc, etc. We lose to Wasteland. Force of Will. And this is for all damage, right? That would be dealt to you. Okay, so we're gonna say, okay, I think we're gonna take two damage here. We could play well, I guess that we could get Misty here. And we can play Exploration. 
Oh, no, 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 no. We get stifled here. They didn't have the stifle last turn, though. Hey, two turns ago, sorry. And we know that they drew... Jeez, this game, exploration. Do we know how many wasteland we've seen from opponent? We've only seen one. But I'm, I'm playing to my outs, right? Like, this is what I can do. There's not much that I can do. Force of negation, okay, so we need blue card. I guess you could, they can also use force here. Force plus blue card. Oh wow, this is gonna go through. Chat, we're kinda doing it. Okay, so ghost quarter. And we can't beat Lightning Bolt, so I think I'm going to go squatter my Gracial Chasm on my own upkeep. And then we're going to play it for turn. But at this point, we die to Lightning Bolt. But this fixes my mana. Joke doesn't really do much. So we're gonna do Cavern of Souls and Ghost Squatter. Cavern of Souls naming Giant. You can get back Uro. Oh no, I fucked up. Oh no, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. One, two, three, four, five. Again, they didn't have the... Okay. Okay, so we're at three, we're gonna take one from the Delver. Next turn, we're gonna play Glacial Chasm. Yeah, this, we are, we're so close here. And we die to a million things now. But now the Aurora can start getting in there and I can start getting some life, which I couldn't otherwise. So I think this is fine. Like I have to get this guy in there. All right, so now we're gonna get back to Chasm. <laughs> so many developers. Okay. Udo, get in there. Cool. Land is good. Okay, so I'm at four now. Uh, do we want to choke plus chasm? I don't think I can. So I think we're going to... Go squatter. This is tight, this is tight. All right, um, so we definitely have to play the Chasm. Now the question is, do I want to go squatter myself a bunch? And I think the question, the answer to that question is yes. 
Would Legacy Amulet Titan be crazy? You get so many cards. Yes, but your opponent gets Wasteland, and Wasteland is pretty unbeatable for us. So, get Dryad. And get Kassam. Kassam is going to suck Cavern. We're going to tap Kassam to play Exploration. And now we can get Ghost Squatter. So whatever they untap on upkeep, I'm going to I'm going to destroy. That's what I'm trying to do. But I needed to get Kasim in there. And here they can't both flip the Delver and also get a wasteland to destroy my Kasim. So I think that we're gonna get there now. Because I'm playing four lands a turn, I'm protected by Veil of Summer, and I have a choke too. That was a tight game. That was tight. Tight. Whew. Made some mistakes along the way, but we got there. We got there. Breaking Legacy 2, amazing. <laughs> this is why I was addicted to Legacy, that format gave you one... Yeah, that Legacy is a great format. I think that Oko kind of ruined that a little bit. Especially because like the, the kind of decks that I love playing Legacy are super interactive decks, like Maverick mostly. And now, basically, if you're paying three mana and you get your Knight of the Reliquary, your opponent goes three mana, Oko, and now it's an Elk. It's just like, it's the most frustrating thing, so. Should have bought Mox Diamonds over LEDs. Aren't like Mox Diamonds like twice the price of LEDs? Wait, are we playing against the same person? We might actually, maybe we played against this person in Modern, actually. So this is a turn to Oko, so we're probably going to keep it. 100%. Fetch for basic, turn one. What's next, Legacy Triggers? Alright. They get to see what's up. I guess they can get my Misty. I mean, they're probably just gonna name Oko, right? Obviously. They could try, like, if they have a Blood Moon or something, I could see them naming Misty instead. If they are, like, the Mono Red Stompy deck, right? Unsurprisingly, they named Oko, though. A decent English Mox Diamond is around 145 euro. Yeah, that sounds really expensive. That's a prime time. We're gonna get the superior, the superior est of forest. The superior estest of forests. Which is this art with a little dude in there. Best forest art ever. Not even worth arguing about. Not even worth arguing. Just a fact. Could be Dragon Stumpy. Yeah, that's what I was... Exactly. See? That's a Magus of the Moon. So, that's that. That's a Blood Moon. So, that's that. Ok, 
Okay, so we're gonna crop rotation, sack. Well, I guess I, there's no need to do it now. Just going to attack. I'm gonna crop rotate either the dried arbor or the breeding pool, probably the breeding pool into an island. Is it John Avon or another pepper? No, it's Christopher Rush. Christopher Rush did Black Lotus. Like, that's it. That's it. What else do you need? A second Blood Moon. Gonna get an island. One, two, three, play Uro. Another Uro, okay. It's not horrible, I guess. It's not great. <laughs> Tech for a while with your mountain dry diver, the best dry diver, I guess. So these forces in the cyber are gonna be pretty, pretty legit, this matchup. Chandra, yeah, vomit. I mean, if we find another forest, now we're, we're cantrip in here, so if we find another forest. Or a Dryad, we can cast our Titan. Reclaimer would also be mana fixing. <laughs> Just blind flip a Karn. Must be nice. Titan next turn, we don't have double green. I know, I can blast him for zero. How Pog Champ is that? Also, I cannot beat Ensnare and Bridge. I suspect I'm getting Lattice next turn. You can metal coding. They can just lattice me next turn. Why would you get little liquid metal coding? If you can just lattice me. Zenith would have been a good draw, yeah. What should I sideboard? As a true jelly, we bring in the force. Yep. I don't think we want cast me there. Well, I guess we kind of do. There's some narrow situations where that might come up. I'm not sure we want dark depths though. I think we might just want anyway. I have no idea how to sideboard here. Maybe rhyming up can go. Yeah. I 
I wonder if something like since we're against a Zenith deck, if we should be playing something like a Reclamation Sage. I feel like we probably definitely should. Now the question is, do we turn one Zenith or do we do we turn one Zenith or do we turn one Reclaimer? I think we turn one Reclaimer. Knight of Autumn? No, I don't think splashing a different color for, for a card is worth it. But Reclamation Sage for sure. Setup is a lot better this time around. Chalice. Uh, I think that I crop rot here just to put something in the yard. So this guy grows. No forest. Yeah, not having access to um to an over to a nation tomb really hurting us here. I feel like we definitely want access to a nation tomb in the deck. All right, so they need this bridge. Looks like a Karn, probably? Yeah. Good copy CD. One, two, three, four, five. I still don't have enough mana. I don't think I can go for depths here. I don't think I can go for depths. I think I, I need to go for wasteland.
or castle. I think it might have to be castle. Because this turn, I can attack the Karn and seen it for... Okay. Seen it for Dryad. We're pro we might get Moon here. I don't think I play this, however, because I can still Titan next turn. Because I, I don't want to lose the, the CD, right? Like if, if I copy the CD, then I, I, I can't activate. So they can go for Let's see what this is. Chandra, probably? Yeah, so they're probably gonna minus on the Dryad. Oh! Oh, wow. That's the line opponent? Really, that is your line. That is the best that you could come up with. That's pretty mind blowing. That's pretty mind blowing. Fala good field of the dead. And I'm just gonna play the Kasim to trigger Valakut and kill the. I guess I can just attack the Shandra. I don't even need to play this. Yeah, that was that was not a good line from my opponent right there. <laughs> Not a good line. Um, do I care about having ramming up in my deck? Yeah, that was that was a questionable line from them. So I don't want any of this. The question is, do I want this guy? I feel like exploration is it's a lot, lot worse on the draw. Okay. Sand is very medium. They kept seven. I think I have to ship this. And here we keep this and we hope it works out. They have ley line, two of them. Okay. <laughs> nice ramming at bottom, yeah, for real, right? Okay, so let's get playing Misty. Now we can play around Blood Moon. I can't I didn't even care about this card. A, a, a Rabbit Master would be a big problem here. Trinisphere. Trinisphere is fine. Okay. 
Oh, never mind. We can't. Whoops. That's right. <laughs> that card. Right. That one. From the land that's getting on the double lane, I think they're probably not. <laughs> I just, I'm assuming that they have no idea what my deck is about. Like, no idea at all. Like, no clue whatsoever. But I mean, that's the beauty about the mono red deck. Like, you don't need to, because you can just get lucky and you're fine. It doesn't really matter what you do. As long as you're doing stuff, you're going to be fine. Magus. Okay. Okay. So what are we doing here? What is the line? I think the line is actually exploration. The alternative line could be tracker. Yeah, I was thinking just exploration and then next turn we can tracker plus double clue. And draw a card and take it from there. It's minus seven, right? Okay, just don't find anything incredible. And certain bridge is kind of problematic. Wow, they don't cast it. We have it, we have a shot now. So now we're going to track her, and my opponent, I guess, is going to have to minus, but I'm going to get to draw two cards, which is probably good for me. Looking for that force. So they're probably going to minus the Chandra here. Okay, so the Chandra is further away from ultimate now. So that's cool. So now we just want to draw lands. That's an island. Well, I guess that we can't even get back the Uro. So never mind. We could draw a card here. Um, I think I want to draw a card. Feels bad, but I think I just want to draw towards one of my forces, right? Like once we draw force, we can crop rot and make it 2020. I should have not played that land though. Because if we're drawing towards force, like Valakut is, is, is a good enabler. Well, I guess the force doesn't do anything because we have to kill the Magus. Do the layers work in our favor? Yes, right now, yes. Because we played it right at second. Definitely should not play this drop though. Yeah, Titan is the best card. Titan is the best card. Force is pretty much not relevant. Uh, more Dryads are good because they allow me to clock the Chandra without taking damage.
Cinef is amazing. Easy game, easy life. They can still draw a snare bridge, but that's about it. Fiery confluence that they can't cast. Good stuff. I guess the ley line is also against the reclaimer. Yep. And opponent concedes. Breaking one format just wasn't enough. Breaking one format just was not enough for me, so I had to break another one. <laughs> this is my own brew. No, that was actually a donation league by uh, the Pistol. So, so thank you so much, the Pistol, for the donation. Much appreciated. Um, okay, so some thoughts. Some thoughts. Um, first of all, we de I feel like we definitely want a Rex Sage in the sideboard. So that seems like step number one. Also, choke seemed honestly not important, like just not relevant. Uh, I think like Veil is way more relevant in the blue matchups and choke was actually awkward with, with our own islands. So I don't think that we want to be choking. I like this deck, but a little sign it kind of sucks right now. So this is better. It, it did feel pretty good, like the... The Delver matchup seemed kind of interesting. It felt really, really close. And it feels like uh, Cavern of Souls is what we want to be doing. Uh, Ancient Tomb is probably also something, especially with um, especially with Thespian Stage and um, Dark Depths in your deck. Uh, Ancient Tomb is really, really good at turning crop rotation into plus one mana, which can very often just be the difference between activating or not activating um, a Dark Depths in time. A, a, sorry, a Thespian stage in time. So I feel like we want Ancient Tomb. Can probably cut one forest, maybe. And what else? Rex Age in the sideboard. I feel like we want some other form of combo disruption. Like the only matchup that we played that like when we played against the um the combo deck, the Doomsday deck, I just felt like completely helpless, right? Like it's just like it is kind of what it is. Wasteland seems like okay, cut not much into for, for one off. I think you want basics. Maybe. I mean, we already have seven basics. Like, it's not that... It's not like we are, you know, this is basics number one, two, and three. I'm cutting basic number eight. <laughs> Yo! Deep Pixel, thank you so much for the donation. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the deck. I actually had some fun. Um, I... I think that uh, there's potential here. I think that there's potential here for sure. Um, the only thing that seemed a little bit awkward were, were the two Ocos. They seemed kind of out of left field. Would like more Reclaimers. Yeah, Reclaimer was really good throughout the entire league. So maybe what we can do is we can do something like this. We can put Ocos in the board. And we can add one or two reclaimers. Something like Goose for Gaylord. Yeah, so unlike unlike modern 
the graveyard decks in Legacy will kill you on turn one. So scavenging is just very very slow for the grave against the the graveyard decks. So that's why we have the ley lines in the deck. Um, we could play three ley lines one ooze, but you are opening yourself up to to get to die on turn one, right? Yeah, I mean ooze is very good because we have Zenith though. So that's something worth considering. Also, death right is legal. Death right is not legal. <laughs> death right is banned in Legacy. Still, are back to basics running around, which is why I say if we're not in the mana, then I have planned wasteland gets a bit worse. Plus the influx of basics and actually, yeah, yeah. But like again, like we played against back to basics, and it was like it wasn't even close to enough to stop in us. Like we only we only needed one activation of Cavern of Souls, and that was it. We even played against Winter Orb, and we just beat it. That Red Shaman is very not legal. Could play an oof in the board. Um, yeah, I could see an oof. I could see an oof. Maybe just like not play Oko's. Like Oko is legit. Like don't don't get me wrong. Oko is like super powerful, but maybe that's not what we want to be doing. And also, is Chalice the best, the best hate for combo? Because uh, Lance usually plays Sphere of Resistance or or, or uh, Thorn of Amethyst. Are those cards better than Chalice? Oko is good in Legacy. Oko is good in every format. <laughs> Doing something against Magus of the Moon. I mean, there's like one deck that plays Magus of the Moon in the entire format, right? And those decks, as you can saw, they just cannot be the Primeval Titan. Maybe we should have like a Dismember or something, like the Eldrassi deck plays. It did seem like we just outmuscle Magus of the Moon. And even if you Oko a Magus, it doesn't stop the effect. Cause layers, yay, <laughs> yay layers. Grow plus P fire, yeah. Just you're just going too deep at that point. Like if we're playing grow and P fire, then we're not playing in world. Like we're we're already we already don't have enough space to play all the lands that we want to play, and like it seems like we just cannot make room for P fire. But, um, if they can protect Maxi, I don't know if they can protect Maxi, I don't know if they can protect Maxi, I don't know if they can protect Maxi, I don't The best case scenario would be just Oko gets banned and we just don't need to worry about this, you know? That would be great. Matcha? <laughs> what do you mean by matcha? So yeah, so Oko actually does not count as an answer to Magus. Where is the night? Oh, the mate. Oh, the mate. Yeah. Um, the mate is something that I drink at like five p.m. or so. I, I usually drink it with my wife right after I finish streaming. We we'll just take a minute to to drink mate there. Um. I'm trying to think here. What what are we missing? Like what what did we feel like that was missing? Honestly, I kind of want another ramming up. I kind of want another ramming up. Maybe three reclaimer, one ramming up, uh, two ramming up, something like this. Friend talks to girls. Is my wife for Argentinian? Yeah, uh, she's also Argentinian. We, we did meet here in the States though, while, while we were both living in Boston. We were, we were both in, in music school. Grills? I talk to Grills? Is that what you're saying, Richin? You were in Boston too? Yeah, I was in Boston between 2010 and 2014. I lived there for four years.
I think we can also just shave one prime time, honestly. We don't need four. I think that three, even maybe even two is the correct number. So maybe that can be the room that we need for the fourth reclaimer. I think I like this a little bit better. We can even shave one more Titan and make room for an Oko in the main deck and maybe another Oko in the sideboard like we have going on here. Maybe just Crucible right now. No, we, we have we played four Zenith. Like Ramina is so much better than Crucible. What instruments does my wife play? Uh, she plays drums as well. Didn't want to say that because this is Titan stream, but I think some trim Titan makes room for what we want. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm okay with that. We, we can probably cut the prime time or honestly, we probably probably cut a prime time or two. This is cool. I like this this shell. It seems like a mid range destroyer, and then we just die miserably to to combo. <laughs> That seems like the plan here. Kira's gonna be wearing ear mouth from birth. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um. Yeah, I think that's gonna. That's probably like the le the next league that I would play with this deck. I would play with something like this. I would even dare to do this. Try to just to try it out, just kind of to see what's up. Just to see what's up, but definitely not sure about that at all. Uh, Wasteland could go also. This is definitely a flex slot over here. Um, maybe make room for another ancient tomb. Maybe make room for another castle. Maybe ancient tomb is just better than castle, honestly. Castle is a green source, however, and we are a little bit, a little bit shy on green sources. Oh, we're actually super shy on green sources. Yes, yeah, so I guess we probably do want the castle instead. Yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of short on green sources for sure. That's 15, 13, sorry, counting the dried hour. Yeah, that's definitely on the low side. 15 if we count Cavernous Souls. Mm. Is Blast Zone good? I mean, it's it's just a necessity. Like, you needed to kill Delvers. And there's a lot of Delvers in Legacy. How is Titan currently modern tier 2? People still hate on Aki was tier 1. Yes, that's exactly what's going on. <laughs> that's exa exactly what's going on. Delvers and Elves, exactly, exactly. So like, I see. I think Blast Zone is just more of a necessity in a format like Legacy than it is in a format like Modern. I like this. This would be the, the the first place where I would start uh, pistol if you wanted to if you wanted to give it another shot. In fact, we can we can do this. Not today. I'm I'm gonna cut the stream a little bit shorter today because I've been going super long every day since before since Saturday I think. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter because I I just I wanted to make some pat Patreon content and I simply just have not had the time. So I'm going to be cutting it short uh, today, unfortunately. Um. But oh, this feud for Oracle is interesting. But yeah, this is what I would this is what I would go for. These are the changes that I would make. Uh, hope you enjoyed this league. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be back with some more content uh, tomorrow. So don't forget to check that out. See you later. Bye bye. Stay safe.